The Rochester Police Department is once again under fire tonight, and so are city and county leaders. They face a federal civil rights lawsuit. Activists and their lawyers say the RPD has a history of racism and brutality, and only federal oversight can change that. Jack Watson joining us live tonight from Rochester with more on this. Jack, what's in the lawsuit? Maureen, attorneys who filed this lawsuit say that there are over 50 examples of what they call excessive force and racist ideology. We heard from the suit's plaintiff, plaintiffs today. In order for things to change and change to come, the RPD will have to hold itself to a higher standard without being above the law. A new suit says Rochester police have used unjustified violent force responding to protests and seeks to end what it says is years-long excessive force disproportionately against people of color. Various efforts to reform the department have failed. It is clear that the RPD either cannot or will not police itself. With this class action lawsuit, we are asking the court to ensure that there is real accountability and change in the RPD. The suit cites several Rochester police incidents in the year following Daniel Brood's death, including the pepper spraying of a nine-year-old girl, a separate pepper spraying of a mother, and the shooting death of a man armed with a knife outside the Open Door Mission homeless shelter. We are also hearing from the city itself responding to the suit tonight. A spokesperson says, quote, Mayor Warren welcomes a review by the United States Department of Justice. In fact, in September of last year, Mayor Warren formally called upon them to conduct a thorough investigation of the Rochester Police Department and to offer reforms to address any and all civil rights violations that might be found. The city's release also cites measures taken, including a recently adopted police reform plan. In this class action complaint, plaintiffs in the suit are demanding a trial by jury for their claims. Also included as defendants in the suit are the Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Todd Baxter, and the New York State Police. We have reached out to the Locust Club, which represents rank-and-file Rochester police officers. They are choosing not to comment at this time. Live in Rochester, Jack Watson, News 8.